Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss a very important file system that is present in almost all of the Linux operating system regardless of architecture and version. So the file system is slash proc. This file system is basically a virtual file system and it created on fly when your system boots this file system is created by the kernel and it's a virtual file system which is taking an space from your memory not from the hard disk and it dissolves at the time of a system shutdown and when you shut down your system this file system dissolve so this file system you know it contains the useful information about the processes that are running on your system and also it keeps the you know information about your system information also so if you'll go inside slash proc directory you will see two type of contents first one is your number directories and second one is your system information files so what are the things we can you know see in slash proc you can get the information about your cpu information you will get it you will get memory information so you can just simply cat this file you will get the information about the memory kernel information what kernel version is there you can cat this file proc partition so with that file you will get the information about the partition as well so let me move towards my linux box and we'll show you how we can you know uh, explore this file system so here the file system is this one slash proc okay and here if you will see inside that file you can see there are two type of contents the first content you can see the number are there this is number directories you can see that these are directories which is started with number and at the last you will see that some you know system information is also there so in slash proc we have two contents the number directories and your system information file so these are your system information files so so just proc is not a real file system it's a virtual file system and here one more thing i am saying virtual and uh, because if you'll see that if i am just cat this stat ls hyphen ltd you will see the size is showing zero bytes it means that it is not taking a space from your hard disk it is taking a space from your physical memory we can say virtual memory we can see that's why it is showing zero okay so let's understand what is you know number directories so here we have two types of directories in this the first one is the number and second one is your system information So any number I can pick up here. So these are the process ID we can see that. So you will see a lot of directories with just a number. So these numbers represent the process ID and a lot of files are inside this number directories. So let me take this one and uh, if you want you can grab as well with the number this one. So you can see that this is a process here also. And if we'll go inside that directory, this one 608, you will see a lot of you know files are there, files and directories are there. So a few files are like cmd line. So cmd line is command line of the command line of the command. You will see the few line like this one. This is the environmental variables and a uh, few files with fd i believe this is this is a directory it contains the file descriptors okay so like this way you will lot of files and directories are there another one is your if i am again coming back ls this is there are few files which provides the system information so what are those like suppose i want to this cat proc cpu info so with this command you will get the information about the CPU. If you want to get the information about your memory, you can do this meminfo. So you will get the information about the memory on your system. 
also you will get the information about load average i believe is the load yeah this is the load average is running partitions so what all the part partition is present on your system you can get it from this kernel version if you want to know you'll get the kernel version so like this way if you'll you know go inside proc you will see lot of files and all each file is having some meaning so this is a very useful file system so friend that's all for this lecture and i believe you are enjoying this course module and learning lot of new things and if you have any confusion any concern you can most welcome to drop your query into question answer of this question answer forum of this course module or you can directly write to me as well i will try to respond as soon as possible thanks for watching and if you have time please join with me in the next lecture